What's going on guys? It's Brad the Average Aussie Trucker back at it ready for another week Okay, so this morning we left my place uh, Would have been about five o'clock this morning. We left We come down to Brisbane come down to Hemet um, Dropped that or unloaded that rubbish that we bought down last week there from Townsville or Bowley, sorry Unloaded that and then we come down to Archfield here we got a, a we come down to the the United. I can't English this morning. <laughs> come down to the United at Archfield. We filled up and we're just parked up here because we're not loading until eleven o'clock at Venedix, which it's only nine o'clock now. So I've got a little bit of time to, to kill, and then we we'll go over to Venedix, load up the normal Townsville stuff. And then we'll go up to Townsville, get unloaded, and then we've got to go over to Charters Towers. There's a farm over in Charters Towers that we've got to load out of, loading pumpkins. So that should that should be something different, which is good. So yeah, the um, be a bit of a different week. We uh, what we won't be loading until late Friday afternoon, which means we won't make it home. Uh, won't make it back to Brisbane by the weekend. Oh, we will, but yeah. Um, and then we have to unload on Sunday, and then we'll do it again next week for the Townsville run. But anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling. Bad time. Roll the intro, and we'll get into it. Hopefully, it's a good day. All right, guys, let's go. <laughs> Pushy, pushy, pushy. Very pushy. Ah, oh, right. So, we're loaded, finally. Actually, it didn't take him that long this time. Not as long as it's taken you to back but out. Still, it's really just a lot of the times it's just the niggly, like the t doing the straps and stuff like that that takes most of the time. But as you can see, we're just backing out of here to head to the exit. No, we just thought you were doing it for the fun of it. And then, Jesus, oh, mate, been driving long. Sorry. We're on our way to Townsville. So, yeah, as I said earlier before, um, so we're going to do this load and then we're going to Charters Towers on Friday to load a uh, load of potatoes going back to Brisbane. It actually means pumpkins, not potatoes. Uh, not sure, I'm guessing the markets. But we'll soon find out. But yeah, we'll deliver them on Sunday. You be. <laughs> but anyway, get on the road. It is now 1.30 in the afternoon. So we probably won't get as far as we normally do, we won't get to El Bilby. Probably get to Yamba or something tonight, pull up there. But we'll see how we go. Anyway, no point in yap yapping about it. Let's get on the road, let's get it done. Let's have a good day. Much, much, much later. So we've made it to Jinjin. I just went and got something to eat. Just gonna sit here and eat, eat my meal and then we'll keep going. I'm gonna get to, um, not sure if I put it in. Oh, actually, no. Yeah, I have. <laughs> Connor's rest area, just north of Yamba. There, gonna get there and pull up for the night. Should pretty much do us time-wise. But yeah, yeah. 
Not in a very good mood tonight. Oh, no, Princess Jesus. Just... Yeah. Long story, but here's what it is. Anyway, like I said, I'm going to have something to eat, and then we'll get back on the road. Righto, guys. We have made it. So we're at Connor's Rest, uh, just north of Yamba. I'm going to go to bed. So, yeah, see you in the morning. Bright and early, ready to go. All right. Ah, oh, good morning, guys. Oh, we're going to make the rest of the trek back into, well, into Bowley today. Um, I doubt we'll get unloaded today. There's no rush anyway. We don't, as I said, we don't have to be in Charters Towers until Friday afternoon, so there's no rush to get up there. So, yeah, but yeah, we pulled up here at Connor's rest area here, just north of Yamba. Good, good little quiet spot. Didn't want to get out of bed this morning. It, um, it was hard. <laughs> uh, one of those mornings. But yeah, anyway, we'll, um, we'll get up the road and probably I'm going gonna, gonna to have my first break just to bow in there at the United Servo, top the tanks up, make sure we're all good to go. Because the way we're going to go back to Brisbane, there's um, no United Survey for a while, so I think Miles is the next one that I'm aware of. Ooh, excuse me. So we'll fill up there, make sure our tanks are topped up. Stop at the, the BP as usual. Grab a bite to eat, have a shower, and then go and split up the double up at Holy. Alright. So, we pulled up here at the Pie Face United at Bowen. We just topped up our tanks, topped up my belly. <laughs> Got a grilled chicken salad wrap. I think it was, yeah. Grilled chicken and salad. It's pretty good. Always concerned about getting chicken from a servo, but yeah. But yeah, we got that. Finished that off and had a quick break. Now, as you can see, we're trying to get back onto the road. Made it up to Townsville. I'm up here at the BP. Um, got up here about 2:30 this afternoon. I went in. I've done some stuff on the computer. Had something to eat. Just had a shower. Now I'm back out. 
I'm gonna probably watch a movie and then uh, head to bed. I'm, I'm just gonna park here for the night. Can't be buggered going up there and splitting and doing all that. I'll just, I'll go up there tomorrow morning. It's not like we're gonna be in a rush because we'll probably end up coming back here anyway once we get a truck wash. So the plan for tomorrow is we'll go up there, we'll unload, go get a truck wash and then come back here and sit here until sometime Friday. And then we'll go get loaded Friday and head back to Brisbane. So we got to unload we got a window of between 2 a.m. and 8.30 in the morning on Sunday to unload. So that's not too bad, but yeah. Anyway, guess I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, good morning, guys. Well, wait for the big girl to build up the air. We've got to get unloaded. It's not going to be much of the day today because I can't do much. So, I think I said last night we'll go and get, um, we'll go and get truck wash today. May as well. See me sitting around waiting until Friday afternoon to get loaded. But yeah, we'll, we'll go and get the truck washed and then I guess we'll come back here and we'll wait until we can leave to go and get loaded. So, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll probably leave tomorrow morning sometime. Not gonna be in a rush. But we'll, we'll leave tomorrow morning um, we'll go and get some stuff to take out. That way we can sit out there. Be ready with the curtains open and all that sort of caper. And um, we'll go from there. So, yeah, as I said, there's not much else to do, so. Yeah. Alright. and try and have as much of a good day as we can. All right guys, up here at Bali, gonna uh, disconnect these trailers and as per your request, I'm gonna show you what dropping the trailers looks like. All right, let's get into it. trailer <laughs> so obviously you always want to drop the B trailer first when you're loaded never drop your A trailer <clears throat> if these are bloody things will work Turn these off. It just makes it so when I turn the air on to the trailer and the truck, it stops it coming out there and losing all my air. Go under here, pull this latch. Like so. And we put the legs down. Like so. Okay, as you can see I've got my other camera set up over there so I can give you an angle of the truck as I'm pulling out. Alright, let's give that a shot. The 
looks like someone forgot to put the legs all the way down. Yeah, yeah, Ronnie, calm down. I thought I was using the airbags. Leave me alone. There we go. So we've got old mate over here. He's before I am, so no point in trying to rush in there to get it done. But, yeah, that's the uh, A trailer done anyway. So, I'll, um, yeah, once we get in there, I'll show you reversing in all that sort of stuff, but once we get in there, we'll get this unloaded. Then we'll come out, we'll get the B trailer, take that in, unload it, and then I'll show you hooking the set back up. And yeah, pretty much Bob's your uncle. All right guys, we'll see you soon. Our B trailer is now unloaded, our A trailer is there unloaded, so what we're going to do, drop the trailers and then we'll hook them back up. The bloody winder will let me go. But thing a lot of people might not know if you if you don't do these a lot you won't know and it's easy to forget on this set I can't but normally you'd come back here and if you're running any distance you'd fold your sign down or in this case you'd put some tape over it but I mean we're running from there to there so there's no need to do it here but normally you would, otherwise there can be some rather hefty fines because of it. But like I said, we're not running that far so we don't really need to worry about that. But yeah, all right. Drop this set and then we'll um, hook the whole set up.
Okay, so what you would have seen there was one me trying to get the trailer underneath it. But if you look down here, you've got to try and align everything up. Sometimes it can be a pain in the backside, but other times, it's, well, times like this, it's easy as. But yeah, try and align everything. That way you're not twisting the legs or anything like that and all that sort of stuff. You try and get it as straight as you can. But yeah, now all we got to do is double check. So in the jaws, there's a little bar that goes across and it's sort of, when the pin goes in, there's like a bar that's there which pushes that and it sort of goes like that. And then that bar, as it goes in, the bar sort of comes across and locks the pin in. That way you can't, when you go to take off, it doesn't just slip out. A lot of, a lot of times you'll find if a driver's dropped the trailer, it's because they didn't do a tug test. Now, for people that don't know a tug test, I'm about to show you. It's exactly what the name says. You pull the trailer to make sure it's hooked up. Is with the brakes on. Uh, it'll just act as a big anchor. Now what, what I did here is I haven't turned those taps on yet. So air won't get to this B trailer and won't release the brakes. Which will allow me to, you know, do a proper tug test and make sure that B trailer is connected. Now, although I have checked that that bar's across. You always do a tug test just to be sure because just like that. Because there's always that chance that those jaws haven't fully hooked in and it's just sitting in there. So even though I visually checked it, we still do a tug test just to be sure. And now I'm gonna go back and double check once again. Yep, I can see. I can see that's in there, that's all good. Now, we turn those taps on, we build up the air in this trailer, which shouldn't take long because we, you know, we've only just dropped it. But um, yeah, we'll build up the air in these trailers and then it's time to go get a truck wash. So yeah, hopefully that showed you what what it takes to you know separate and reattach a double set. I know I didn't show picking up the B double, but it's pretty much the same thing. You know, you drive under it, you hook up, do all that, and then yeah, and then you drop it, hook it up with a yeah. So yeah, all right, guys, I'm gonna get down the road and I'll check in with you in a bit. Well. Decided to be lazy again, but I've got the time today. So we're up here at Big Boys Truck Wash. Give me, I'll go washed. She looks schmick. I'm getting a truck and trailers washed today. That's a difference. Anyway. Oh, okay. So we've got it all washed up. God, it makes a difference when you get a nice clean truck, eh? All done, all clean, ready to go again. So, yeah, but we're gonna go back to the BP now. We're gonna park up. That'll probably be us for the night. And then tomorrow, we'll mosey on, our, mosey on over to Charters, which is only about an hour and a half drive. We'll get over there, probably leave. I don't know, about 9.30. So get a sleep in at least. And then we'll go over there. We'll get loaded sometime tomorrow afternoon. And then I'm thinking we'll probably get as far as Emerald tomorrow. But we'll see what happens. Anyway, guys. <sighs> We're at the BP. Set up, ready to go. <laughs> Set up. <laughs> oh, got me spot. I've got the aircon going. 
I'm gonna lay down, chill out for a while, and then I'll probably go in, have a shower later, have something to eat, go to bed, and then tomorrow I'll get up, whenever I feel like it, mosey on over. So yeah, as I said, where we're going, it's only an hour and a half from here. So we don't need to be in a big rush in the morning. So yeah, I'll um, just take me time. Have a bit of a sleep in and then just cruise over there and get loaded and then we'll head to, back to Brizzy. I think I said, but yeah, I'll probably aim for Emerald tomorrow. Get in the camera shot. Probably aim for Emerald tomorrow and get down there and then do the rest on Saturday. So, yeah. Alright guys. The next morning. Good morning one and all. Okay, so today we're gonna go get loaded and head back to Brisbane, finally. Um, like I said, we'll probably get to Emerald tonight and that'll be us for the day, depending on what time. Depending on what time we get loaded and we leave. If we get loaded and leave at a decent time, I might go a little bit further. But time will tell. We'll just wait and see. So, but anyway, we'll get on the road, we'll get going, and see what the day brings. Hopefully, it's a good day. At least the truck's clean. <laughs> uh, but anyway, all right. Have a good day, and I'll check in with you soon. got a really good phone call from the farmer he um he said they're ready to go as soon as i get out there which is awesome because i know he said last time i spoke to him he said that we might not be getting loaded until you know late friday afternoon which means we would have got out there friday night or tonight sorry um but he said that they're ready to go they pushed through and they got it all done which is awesome and i'm so thankful for that so that'll mean we can get down the road a little bit more and we can um, get that little bit closer to Brisbane and we may even be able to go home before we go to the markets, which is awesome. So we also just got word that we're loading Monday now instead of Tuesday and we'll be, everything's sort of moved up a day, um, which again is awesome. I mean a little bit more time at home so it sort of balances out but yeah so anyway we'll get down here we'll get loaded I'm stuck behind a road train at the moment I don't, I don't really want to overtake him I'm, you know I'm in a rush but I'm not in a rush like I'm not in that much of a rush to overtake him but I, mean, I want to get there you know get there get loaded get going but yeah, so that that makes it a little bit better. 
as I said, lifts the spirits a little bit. But I'm still, I had a look. It probably is quicker to go down through Springshaw and out that way, even though I hate that road, especially in a K200. End up being like a pinball in a pinball machine, bouncing all over the show. But suck it up, buttercup, we'll get it done. <laughs> anyway, guys, we'll check in with you once we get to the farm and we start getting loaded. Alright guys, so as you've seen we made it to the farm, um, as you can also tell, I'm not really experienced driving on corrugations, so sorry about that, <laughs> um, but I'll just have a chat to the farm and see if we can film, if we can I'll set up a uh, time lapse of getting loaded, and if not I'll see you when we get back in the truck. Okay guys, so rolling out of here, loaded, ready to go. That actually took a little bit longer than I thought it was going to, but it's all good, we're back on the road. So, should get to Emerald about around 7.30 tonight, and then we'll see how we're going. We might keep going, but yeah. All just depends on how I'm feeling and how we're going. But I don't want to go too far during the night because I sort of want to. I want to pull up when it's cool to look after the freight and then drive through the day to get the air flowing over the trailers. But yeah, as you can see, we're pulling out of there now and we'll get down the road. We'll check in with you once we pulled up. All right, guys, talk to you soon. Okay, guys, so we've made it here to the Ampole in Emerald. I know you probably can't see me that well, and I apologize, but I'm about to walk into the light, so you should hopefully be able to see me here shortly. Or I'll just get the light from the trucks, you know. But yeah, I'm. Um, I'm pretty stuffed, so I'm actually going to call it here at Emerald. I'm not even going to think about attempting that road that I've got to go down in the dark the way that I'm feeling. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go in and get something to eat, have a share, and I'll see you later. Oh, good morning, guys. It is 4.30 in the morning. See, we've already taken off on 
the way back. So, yeah. We'll get going down the road here. Uh, first stop will probably be Miles. You probably can't see me. First stop will probably be Miles down there. And then from Miles we should get back into Brisbane from there. So it'll be a full day of driving, which is good. Tomorrow morning. Oh, excuse me. Tomorrow morning we'll get up. Crack of dawn. <laughs> Actually it'd be full dawn. Um, we'll get up, head into Brisbane Markets, get unloaded. And then we'll we gotta drop our trailers down on the south side somewhere. Um, I've got to get them looked at to get a repair done. So, and old mate's going to come out to the trailers. Oh, the camera died. Forgot about the battery. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, we've got to drop them on the south side there. So, we'll um, find somewhere to drop them down there and then we'll go from there. As you've seen guys, we made it here to Miles. So, unfortunately though, with all the weather and stuff hanging around, the big girl is filthy dirty again. Not as bad as she was, but still pretty bad. <sighs> the joys of it all. The joys of trucking. <laughs> uh, well, at least it was clean for a little while. Yeah, this at the United Server here in Moors. I'm just about to head, uh, jump back in and start heading off. Head to Brisbane. So, yeah. Um, hopefully the clips worked out, but coming down, there was a uh, eight meter wide oversize. And like, we only just had enough room for him to get past us. So I could not pull over on the road anymore. And yeah, he was, it was a big load. There was actually two of them. So I'm hoping that that worked, but yeah. Anyway, guys, we'll get back on the road here and we'll see you once we pick up the camera again. We have made it to Rock Lee. We're down here at the BP. And when am I actually gonna park there? Got a pretty good spot. Unprecedented. I actually got a spot at the BP. Normally this place is filled up with people dropping trailers. Hmm. 
but anyway we're here now we made it it's the main thing we're ready to go so in the morning we'll um we'll go in get unloaded there at the rockley markets we're only what 10 minutes down the road from them so you know bugger all and then we'll come back down here try and find somewhere to drop the trailers down here because they have to get repaired and the blokes or they have to get a, a quote done for a repair and the blokes coming down here so hopefully I can find somewhere that's not a parking spot but I may have to be one of those hopefully not but yeah we'll see but we're here now so that's the main thing and yeah I'm gonna go inside go and suss out the showers and all that sort of stuff it's been it's been a hot minute since I've stayed down here but yeah we'll go and do that and go and suss out the menu see what I can get for dinner and we'll probably watch a video or something and then call it a night so but yeah we, we were aiming to be in there at 2 2 a.m. but now they're more talking 4.30, 4, 4, 4.30. So, we've at least got 12 hours here. So that's, that's all right. And I would love to go home, but unfortunately I can't leave this here. Fully loaded. Especially around here. So it's just better to stay with the trailers. But yeah, anyway guys. See you in the morning, bright and early, ready to go. And we'll go into the market together. Alright, we'll talk to you then. Oh, morning guys. So, okay, we're straight into it. We're here getting unloaded at the Brisbane Markets. As you can see, I've already got most of the A trailer unloaded. Just we're about to start on the B trailer. These actually travelled rather well. So there are a couple like that that sort of crush the cardboard, but otherwise they travel quite well. So yeah, it was interesting, but oh, busy markets. Pushy, pushy, pushy. Very pushy. But these guys are go, 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 so it sort of makes sense. But anyway guys, we'll get um there you go, there's another example of it. So as you can see, the cardboard just gave way. Not really much I can do about that. It's all thanks to those lovely roads on the way back from Charters Towers. <laughs> but anyway guys, we'll get this unloaded um, and then we'll get back on the road. And then it's home time. So all right. Right. Finally leaving this delightful place. I tell you what, I've never been in a place full of people as pushy as this joint. I know everyone's trying to get everywhere and they're trying to do everything and all that other stuff, but oh my God, like, calm down, guys. Anyway, we're done. Unloaded. We're going home. So, I'm going to end the video here, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, and you haven't already, please consider subscribing and also like the video and share and guys stay safe out there and we'll catch us on the next one hooroo